Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, I'm just sitting here reading a magazine. <laughs> you know, I had a couple questions. Um, this is really interesting. They got a lot of food and, um, and wine products in this. Oh, look at food and wine. Yes. <laughs> But they have a lot of advertisements, too. I, I have, you know, time to read this. Yes. Now, I wanted to spend some time with my family, and you didn't want to enforce the laws. Could you call Marilyn and find out what she's doing? Because I thought that she wanted to speak to me. <laughs> and I wanted to sue Mike for using the picture of my sister, Susan Bowers, as his wife. Yes. Now, um, these... Surgeon General's warning, yeah. Uh, quitting smoking now greatly reduces serious risk to your health. Yes. Could you get me all those warnings, the Surgeon General's warnings on every web page and website? You know, a lot of the experience that I've had with those in the lizard family, yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of them smoke. Yes, they do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But let's say you did read the warning, but it had an opposite effect. It's kind of like, well, don't tell me what to do. I just, I'm concerned that a lot of the uh, disclaimers right, are actually having the opposite effect. I know I want to quit smoking. <laughs> I wanted to get one of these vapes. Yes. Mm-hmm. But I never seem to have enough money because of obstructions of justice and <laughs> protecting those that fraudulently use the, the court system. Yes. <laughs> so let's look at the actual effect of the Surgeon General's warning and ask ourselves, yes, is it effective at uh, deterring actual smoking? <laughs> now, I know. Give me the IP addresses of all of those. <laughs> That on every tobacco website, there's a Surgeon General's warning. Yes. Quitting smoking now mm -hmm. greatly reduces my mm -hmm. serious risk to my health. <laughs> you know, it would be it would be so frustrating. Yes. If you could sew into every Surgeon General's warning the desire to smoke. Yes. When it should be the opposite. Oh. Oh, now it seemed to me mm -hmm, that maybe Kim Jong-il was a smoker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it seemed to me that uh, my mother as a smoker had sewn into me. Every time I smoked it, it was like she had to smoke through me. Yes. <laughs> now this lizarded technology from North Korea that Heidi brought to the United States because Homeland Security wanted it. Yeah. Uh, there's a possibility that it might be a cause of smoking. Oh. <laughs> you know, I have mentioned this numerous times that <laughs> I've felt some real frustrations because of the sowing yes, of smoking. Oh. 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 Now, this is somewhat upsetting because I know in the state of Washington, yeah, you have to be uh, 18 years old to purchase tobacco products. But it says here, website and offer restrictions to eligible 21 plus smokers. Yes. Uh, seems somewhat discriminatory to those that can legally smoke but are not allowed to participate in the offers of those uh, that are smokers. Yeah. Could you give me ooch, all the websites poop, <laughs> of all the tobacco products that have uh, quite possibly an obligation to have a Surgeon General's warning? <laughs> Where you, as an adult American citizen, yes, cannot participate in the offers on the website because you're not 21, yeah. you're 18, oh, 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 you're 19, <laughs> you're 20, you're pops. Well, let's say you turned 18 plus one day. Yes. From 18 to 19, there's approximately 365 days. Yes. From 19 to 20, there's 365 days. <laughs> but from 20 to 21 plus, yes, there's 363 days. Uh -oh. <laughs> For approximately 1,000 days, you cannot participate in the actual offers on each of those websites. <laughs> Because there's some discrimination against the enforcement of the laws for those that are adults. <laughs> now, there could be a lawsuit in this, if you know what I mean, if you know what I mean, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so when you go through the last, oh, 20 years of offers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, 
the IP addresses of each and every one of those tobacco product websites. <laughs> Add up the total amount of savings for all of those individuals <laughs> and then guesstimate how much <laughs> money has been lost to those that are not 21 plus, <laughs> but they're 18. <laughs> now, let's say, okay, I thought, yes, <laughs> that <laughs> just go ahead, do that for me. Now, this is interesting because Newport, okay, the logo, yes, mm -hmm. uh, and Spinnaker Design are registered trademarks of the L'Oreal mm -hmm. Licensing Company, LLC. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you can see here, copyright 2017 uh, RJRTC, yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like the actual packaging of cigarettes are, yes, are, um, uh, a licensing company, yeah, but the manufacturer of what's in them mm. Mm. could quite possibly be a different company. Mm. Now, let, let's just say that the uh, website, yes, is not owned by the actual manufacturer of the cigarette. 